Alright everyone, so I just got back from seeing Spider-Man No Way Home a second time and I made my review this morning, posted it and while editing it I realized I did not cover the post credit scenes at all. So I'm like, well, Isaiah, I guess that's going to be its own video. So having seen it twice now, I've seen both post credit scenes twice. Obviously, big spoilers ahead if you have not seen Spider-Man No Way Home. I don't recommend watching this video, but if you have seen it, I'm going to assume you have. Here we go. So the first post credit scene opens up in like a bar or like a bar at some place, like at a hotel or something. And it's Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock. And he's so confused, having been warped here from Venom Let There Be Carnage by Doctor Strange's spell. He's been brought over because Venom talks about the hive mind, so Venom knows that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. So that's how he got there. Eddie Brock is just like super confused. And he's been asking like the bartender about like everything that goes on. And he's like, so you're telling me there's like tons of super people here. And they name off like Iron Man, Hulk. They talk about Thanos. You get like a little bit of Eddie and Venom banter there for a little while. But then they start glowing and Venom goes, no, no, we just got here. And then they disappear because of the spell. They send them back. When they leave, they leave a little, a little drop of symbiote on the counter. So a little bit of like controversy would be that it makes it look like Tom Holland is not going to fight Tom Hardy's Venom. Or at least the one we know from the Venom verse. Tom Hardy might still be a Brock in the MCU. By the way that looks, we might not actually see them meet up. But... Eddie did say right before that, I need to go to New York and talk to the Spider-Man. So he might try and find a way back there. Who knows? I don't... I have no idea. I think it's possible that maybe we're gonna get like the Flash version of Venom. Like, uh, Agent Venom. Because they've been they've been setting Flash up for something and he's barely in this one. So like, I could see them going that, that route with it. The second one is... Essentially like a teaser for Doctor Strange 2. I'm not going to sit here and try to frame by frame the trailer for you. It's pretty much just you hear voiceover of like how they shouldn't have done the spell. And you see Doctor Strange go seek out Wanda and ask for help. End of the trailer. Wong, or is it Wong that says your greatest enemy is yourself or something. And then out of the shadows. Well, it looks to be Strange Supreme from What If. If not, it's like a version of that. You know, this evil version of Doctor Strange. If that is like the Strange Supreme from What If, that is like crazy awesome. It's, I do think it's possible that we'll see like the Watcher in the movie too. But I heard they did some reshoots and because of the multiverse in Spider-Man, they decided to have more fun with it. And they said they added like a whole lot more cameos. So that movie's gonna be wild. So, let me know what y'all think. If y'all interpreted them differently, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.